Hello, my name is Chris and I'm both a river scientist and a lecturer in physical geography at UWE Bristol. Welcome to the first of a series of five mini lectures about drainage basin hydrology that are designed to help anyone studying A-level geography. Before you go any further, please make sure that you have a copy of these worksheets that go along with these lectures so that you can fill them in as we go and finish with a complete set of notes for you to revise from. You can find a link to the worksheets below, as well as links to the other four lecture videos in this series. OK, let's get started with lecture one. Who cares about drainage basin hydrology? Drainage basin hydrology is important to lots of people. It's important to anyone who is at risk of flooding. Not only past victims of flooding, but also anyone who lives on a floodplain. This is because it is drainage basin hydrology that controls how much water is delivered to river channels. If more water is delivered to the channel than it can carry away, then the excess water will flood over the banks of the channel and onto the floodplain, causing damage to any people or property that are in its path. Drainage basin hydrology is also important to anyone who drinks water or uses fresh water for other purposes such as cleaning and irrigation. This is because it is drainage basin hydrology that controls how much water is stored in rocks beneath the ground, from which we might withdraw fresh water for cl drinking, cleaning, irrigation and other purposes. Drainage basin hydrology is also important to anyone who lives near a river channel. This is because drainage basin hydrology affects the erosive power of river channels, with high power channels being able to erode their banks and damage property that is adjacent to them. Drainage basin hydrology is also important to anyone who uses electricity. This is because drainage basin hydrology affects the amount of elect electricity that can be generated at a hydropower dam. Finally, drainage basin hydrology is important to anyone who cares about living organisms. This is because it is drainage basin hydrology that controls the size and variability of flows through river channels, with a naturally variable flow regime being an important aspect of a healthy river ecosystem. An understanding of drainage basin hydrology is especially important for those who wish to pursue a career within river management, like Nick. Nick is one of many graduates from UWE Bristol's BSc Geography degree who now work within river management and they were able to take some time out of their busy work schedule to answer some of my questions. Okay, hi Nick, good to see hi. you again. Hi Chris, and thanks Andrew. for coming along. Um, no how are you? Yeah, keeping well, um, enjoying working from home, uh, keeping extremely busy in my current role, so uh, yeah, not too bad. Okay. So first question, um, what made you decide to pursue a career in river management? Um, being honest, it was probably my strongest, well, one of my strongest modules at uni. Um, I think probably because it's probably the ones I was most interested in as well. Um, also with the final year project that we did um, for river management, I quite enjoyed that side of things. So producing the flood risk management report for the river in Chipping Sobbury. Um, I think at that point I just thought I'd like to progress a career along that, those sort of similar lines really I quite enjoyed that aspect of it um, and I kind of thought or I liked the, the concept of influence and sort of catchment management plans that kind of thing because um, I guess you get a feeling of it actually affects the real world and sort of people's lives I guess. Excellent um, um, and what does your job involve? Um, being extremely busy no um, primarily the production of flood risk assessments and sort of drainage designs for planning applications um, so I support anything from sort of large scale residential developments through to sort of wind and sort of solar farms so yeah primarily sort of flood risk assessments for, for planning. Excellent thanks um, and what is it that you enjoy most about your job? There's a, a lot of in, in my role um, there's a lot of variation between sort of day to day so one day I could be supporting or producing an FRA for a small sort of residential extension to a property um, but then the next I could be doing a flood risk assessment for a shopping centre the next it could be like a football stadium so I think it's kind of, I guess kind of cliche but no day is the same there is so much variation in, in terms of what we support um, in terms of sort of different developments and stuff. Okay. Great, thanks. Um, final question. Um, 
how is drainage basin hydrology, which these lecturers are about, how is that important to your job? Um, ultimately, the flood risk assessments are kind of informed or based on predicted flood, level, flood levels for a site. Um, and so in order to sort of estimate a flood level for a site, sort of hydraulic models and hydrological models are required. Um, so sort of basin hydrology kind of heavily affects river flow and therefore river flow has an effect on my job. So it's kind of like a, a lead on impact, I guess. OK, great. Thank you. Um, thanks very much for meeting with me, Nick, and answering my questions. It's been really useful um, and I hope to see you soon. Nice thanks very much. Thanks so much, Chris. Cheers. Cheers. Bye bye. So in this mini lecture, we have established that everyone should care about river catchment hydrology and that if you care about it enough to understand it in detail, it can provide you with a future career. You can learn more about more about the importance of drainage basin hydrology by completing the following activity in your worksheet. OK, thank you for listening. I hope that you found it interesting. Please check out the remaining four lectures in this series using the links below.